are on the southeast corner of Stellwagen Bank, cruising around various areas looking for you know good bottom or good markings. You know, we found a nice little nook here where we're making a series of short drifts where we're going over some fish. So what we're doing is we're just cruising and uh, wait till we get the piles of fish. We'll take the boat out of here. And then just to steady the boat for a quick drop, I'm going to put it in reverse. And that'll help. It's called check the boat. And that'll stop the boat so we can have a quick drop and we make sure we're dropping right where we are. So the codfish, haddock, and pollock um, have been coming up with sand eels in the bellies. So what I'm doing is I'm switching to our traditional drop shot rig. You can see I have it rigged with the uh, 10 inch Hoagie Original. And then on the bottom piece here, I just uh, Texas rigged with an 11-0 offset worm hook, another bait on the bottom. And these fish are very docile today. So all I'm gonna do is send it straight down to the bottom. This 10 ounces of weight is fantastic. I'm really holding bottom. And uh, just a series of short twitches are all that's really needed to hook the fish. So you can see with the short motions, you know, how the baits really dance and quiver. But right now we're going over a nice mark on the fish finder, so I'm just gonna get this dropping. Oh yeah, drop it. Right here, we're in about 135 feet of water. I like to point the tip of the rod towards the water so there's no friction with that line going through. It speeds up the process. I just make a little circle with my fingers around the line, and that way I can feel if it bumps, when it bumps on bottom. See there, it hit on bottom. Engage. Oh, good. This big longer fish, I can tell. Oh, dropped it. I'm going to send it right back down. You can see them hit it. See it's bumping the tip right there? That's. A lot of little fish mixed in. So the advantage of this large, these larger baits on the drop shot rig is you sort of weed out the smaller fish. They have a hard time getting the hook, which is okay by me because the size limit here in Massachusetts is 24 inches. And so when you know any time spent reeling up a smaller fish is time spent not catching a larger one. So this is a great technique for sort of pulling through the smaller ones. Now that said, you still do get the smaller ones. Right here I have my drop shot rig with two baits. Take my time with this fish. Cod fish. Now this may be a legal cod. They have to be 24 inches in the state of Massachusetts. I'm going to take good care of this fish. He's close, but the barely legal fish are the best eating. I'm going to take a quick measure just to see if this one comes home with us or not. Oh yeah. oh yeah. We have dinner tonight. It's a keeper. So that last one got our bait, so it's time just to re-rig. This is the 10 inch bone original. And uh, just like any time you would Texas rig, I'm going to bring this hook right through the nose and into that hook slot. Rotate the hook. Take a minute to line it up. So that's where that bend turns. That's where you want it exiting the bait. So we're re-rigged and ready to go. Hi, I'm Andy Dabreski from On The Water. Uh, I've done a lot of cod fishing out here over the years. The, the traditional thing you'll see the most out here are these big cod jigs. Um, they sink to the bottom quick, uh, they hold bottom very well, and they just do a good job of getting a vertical presentation. Traditionally, uh, most guys are going to fish these with some sort of teaser above the jig. I'm going with a 7-inch hoagie. I tried a variety of colors. They've all been working today. Um, the, the top shot rig has been really great because I think the hook extends a little bit further out from your main line, and it's really right in the middle of the bait, so you don't get a lot of short hits on it. Uh, but this is a you know very conventional caught fishing rigging technique right here. And you're just going to send these all the way down to the bottom and you're getting the best action today it seems with a real subtle jigging. We're not violently jigging these things, just kind of bumping them right off the bottom. 
and that seems to really be the way they like it today. I'm not sure what they're feeding on, if that's got something to do with it. But. Oh, there's one. There's a fish. If that guy hit the teaser, you'll find you get, I'd say at least half the fish are taking the teasers today. It's just always nice to kind of have different offerings down there, give them a choice.